Alrighty then, alrighty then, <laughs> welcome everybody to Coffee and Art in the Morning, Monday morning. We have a few things planned this morning, I've already been chatting with everybody before we hit record, so thanks everybody for being here. If you're watching this recording on YouTube, this is a live show on Ustream.tv. It's a live chat with mostly awake people, even Jean. Jean's organizing, speaking of organizing. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so it's a live show with a live chat, so thanks for watching if you're watching over on YouTube. Um, if you're here in chat, please put your comments addressed to me in caps. So I know you're talking to me because the chat does fly. Yeah. Um, so anyway, if y'all do not know, Rach, I think I always keep saying zero, but I think it's Rach O113, our friend Rach. Um, she um, has a YouTube channel, Ustreams and, and YouTubes, and she has been reorganizing her Right now, she's working in one art room. She has two rooms where she keeps her supplies. And she's, she's, I don't want to call her an enabler like Eileen and Janet, but yeah, <laughs> if, you, if you know our rage. Anyway, she's, she's like our stamp queen. She's like our, I mean, I don't know anybody that has more stamps or knows more about stamps than Rach in our, in our, in our group, I'll say. So anyway, um, I'll try to remember to put a link to her uh, YouTube channel in my description box at the end, but it's Rage O113. So anyway, she's, I think, up to day seven or eight now in organizing her, her space, and she's literally decluttering and handling every single supply, every stamp, every everything in her space. And, and getting rid of it. She's already got rid of, I know, we miss Eileen, I know we miss Rach. She's, she uh, does stream um, for Prima every now and then, but she's also a teacher, so, you know, she, we see her more in the summer, although this summer I didn't see her that much. But anyway, so she's, now that she's reorganizing her space, maybe we'll see her more. Because <laughs> she'll have it so organized, she'll just can't stand not to stream. And uh, so she's doing everything, every shelf, every drawer, every paint, every stamp. And, and, and I'm an organized person, too. And y'all know, y'all seen my space. Denise will come over and help me organize or I'll organize this or that. Or Hubster's always teasing me about, oh, yeah, you got to get organized because he thinks I'm like the most organized person he knows. And, uh, and I am pretty organized. But, however, there are things I can downsize that I'm either not using, that I haven't used in a long time. I did go through most of all of my acrylic paints, my little, you know, these right here, my, you know, uh, Americana craft paints, but I still have one drawer. I went through all of them. Anything that was halfway, had only half paint in it, I, I gave a huge big bag of my craft paints to Cam because he was running low at school. And so I gave him a whole bunch of probably, I don't know, a big, huge bag full. But I still have one drawer of some older ones that has some metallic, some I don't even know what's in it. So those need to be cleaned out too. But today I wanted to go through all my pens and pencils. Uh, I, I have in, in a t drawer tower, let me pull one here, in a drawer tower here, I have like one, two, three, four, five, at least five, if not six drawers full of pens, just pens and pencils. That's not including any other supplies. So I want to, I want to go through my pens and pencils today. And also I dumped out, I have one, I think I have like eight pencil bags. Yes, you do find things you forgot when you start to organize. So anyway, the other thing that, of course, Jean is redoing or re-cleaning and, and cleaning out her space. Uh, and then also, over the weekend, Eileen and Janet enabled some magical powders. <laughs> I have them in my cart. So I'm not going to buy them, Janet and Jean. I mean, Janet and Eileen. I'm not going to buy them until I finish my getting rid of some stuff. So, there's kind of like my incentive. 
But first, let me just do this. Before I start organizing, I'll put that on a separate video. So this particular video, I wanted to show my new color books that um, Kenny sent me this one and Laura Anxiety Art Adventures sent me this one. Uh, Anxiety Art Adventures, she's a fairly new, new um, streamer and YouTuber and she does color alongs and she's an awesome colorer. <laughs> so Anxiety Art Adventures Laura and so I'm going to show you these two books. I've already started in both of them. So I, I won't do a full on flip. I'll do a quick like you know, a quick flip through. Um, this one is uh, Fantasia by Nicholas, and I cannot pronounce his Indian name. There it is there. And um, it's a spiral bound, and it's really awesome. And, and Laura and some others have shown this flip through, so I'm just going to, like, quickly just, you know, just kind of flip through. And I have started a page in this book. And uh, so I'm going to just do this real quick. There's other people out there that have done full-on flips and talked about each page. But let me move my light up a little. There we go. Just so y'all can kind of get an idea what's in it. And I am kind of zoomed in a little bit. So, again, it's got, and then it's got a random Easter bunny. I mean, that's just kind of odd. I don't know. He's got all these mythical, like probably Indian, like, um, Hindi Indian uh, mythology, but then he has an Easter Bunny. I don't know. It's kind of funny, but they're fun. Trust me. It's got some awesome. I see a lot of people coloring this one. He's not Indian? Indonesian? Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought that that was an Indian name. Okay. Melody said that he's Indonesian. Thank you, Melody. I appreciate that. I did not know that. I guess I could research them a little. <laughs> well, I haven't had time to do any research this weekend. Um, but anyway, yeah. Thank you. So he's Indonesian. Thank you, Melody. So there we go. Just flipping through. Lots of mythology. This, uh, and the owls, the, some of his pages, the pages that I'm flipping through and you see that are black background, they're already painted black. And um, so, yeah. <clears throat> So this is the one I'm working on, and again, it was already painted black, but I did do a little bit. It, it doesn't work as well like as my acrylic paint backgrounds, but I got a little bit of a glow. You can see I got a little bit of pencil glow. It's There's no texture to it, though, so it wasn't a lot, but it was a little. Let me turn my fan this way. It's a little. But this is the one I've worked on so far, and I did put a spot. A big uh, like twinkle in her eye and I put some stars the these are mine the big these these right here there were these other dotted stars in the background the moon was there so I put the glow around the moon the clouds added these big stars and put a little bit of glow around her head and that's as far as I got so far there's not a lot done on it but I like it hey Suzanne and by quick lots of tiny tiny in this one you put are you like the twinkle in the eye okay and then this one sorry guys I'm trying to keep up with chat then this one is um, a walk in Eden that was all pencil. Yes, Valerie. That was all pencil. Hang on. Let me go back to it. Yeah, all pencil. And then, and again, that's, here's his name here. So if anybody wants to see it. Yeah, now this one, I'm again, I won't do a full-on, I'm just going to do a quick little flip through it. Laura sent this one, and Laura does have a full uh, flip through on, on her channel of this one. Um, Anxiety Art Adventures, and it's called A Walk in Eden, a coloring book by Anders N Nielsen. There. 
Okay. Hopefully we're still focused here. And this book is very odd. It is an odd book. <laughs> the um, the pages, I mean, the um, it's very anamorphic. It's very, um, yeah, surreal is the word I'm trying to think of. Surreal. No more color. <laughs> uh, yeah. King Gore, Claudia, anybody popping in? So it's very surreal. I did notice that when I was going through the book that the pages are connected for the most part. There's a few standalone images. i got to move this coffee. Hang on. Pencils. There's a few standalone images. But, yeah, this is, again, tiny spaces. And how I usually tackle tiny spaces is with a wash of color. Um, so, well, Valerie, if you paint, if you put down some paint first, and always test in your book, if you put down some paint first, the, um, the pencil is brighter and, and, and you don't have to, like, layer it so much. Hey, bunny. Okay, so, anyway, this, this book, the pages, they, it, it's not like an exact, like, copy on most of them. Some of them they do kind of just carry over. But you can tell that the landscapes uh, connect. Like, all right, so right here, see that tail right there? That goes over to this dinosaur right there. You see? There's this tail. So they kind of, kind of carry over. See the landscape carries over. And it is odd, I tell you, but it's quirky. Quirky. Let's put it that way. It's quirky. I loved it. I loved it when um, Laura showed it. But I said, well, I just don't need another color. I always say that. <laughs> but anyway, Laura sent it to me. So, yeah. All right. So, like here. See the, the weird kind of chicken bird things? And then there's some tail right there. You see how it kind of carries over? <laughs> uh, okay, so then this is one. Here's where I, one I've, I've started. So this is one I've started here. <coughs> and uh, I try, this is how I always uh, try to do. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Hang on, i got a tickle in my throat. I always try to um, start with, you know, about five colors. Flamingo relatives. <laughs> I don't know. They kind of look kind of emu, kind of like a cross between an emu and a chicken and a peacock. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, I, and so far, this is all in uh, Prismacolor. This is all in pencil so far. Okay. There's no paint on this yet. I can't promise you there's not going to be any paint, but right now it's just all pencil. And uh, so I, I decided because I wanted that little car to be lime green, it kind of reminds me of the, uh, was it a, a vape of, I, now vegan is stuck in my head. A vape of, uh, anyway, I'll think of it in a minute. <laughs> I get all rabbit trails in my head. Someone on the chat will tell me. Anyway, it reminded me that. And so I wanted lime green in it. Yeah, kind of like a chocoboo. It kind of is like a chocoboo, Barb. <laughs> ah, did you play Final Fantasy? I mean, Fantasy. Um, yeah, Final Fantasy. Um, I did actually draw a chocoboo for Carrie. <laughs> but anyway. Um, yeah. Um, oh, what's that car? Eileen, help me. Not a U go. It starts with a V. Vega. Vega. Mm, oh. Mm, anyway. I'll think of her son. Not a VW. <laughs> Not a Volkswagen. <laughs> and I actually had one. Not in green. I had one in a, in a, in copper color. Not a Pacer. Is it a... Oh. Oh. Hang on. I got to look it up. Because cause nobody... I know everybody in uh, in watching the recording going, it's this, it's this. Uh, hang on. 
I'm sure if I just Google um, car V E not venue is is it a oh my gosh I keep wanting to say vague is it a V not a Vega it's a Vega was it a Vega not a Volvo car Vega hang on let me look at images. I guess it was a ve Vega, Vega. How did you pronounce it? Oh, anyway, it's reminded me of that. This, Vega. I guess it was a Vega. Was it pronounced Vega? That doesn't sound right. Why does it not sound right? One of these. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, rabbit trail. So, so I wanted you. I wanted lime green in it. Is what I'm trying to say. So I took the lime green, and um, and added lime green around to make it cohesive. So if you take like five, uh, yeah, like a modern, uh, yeah, camo tree as your muse, yeah, yeah, Vega. But is it pronounced Vega or Vega? I don't even remember. I had one back in 19. Let me think. It was after my um, Trans Am got wrecked. <laughs> a Vega? Was it a Vega? I think it was pronounced Vega. Am I right, Terry? Anyway, I had one of those after I had my Trans Am. Pronounced Vega, yeah. Okay, well, anyway, let's get back on track. So, if you take, like, five colors... Yeah, Barb, thanks. If you take like five main colors and spread them out, then your then your page will be cohesive. So what I did was I took the lime green and kind of did it up here. And I said, well, why not have these little whatever they are since it's kind of a, a fantasy type landscapes and creatures and plants and everything. Why can't my ducks have lime green bills? So that's how I'm spreading out the lime green through. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right, guys? A Chevy Vega, yeah. I had one for a little while in between cars. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, I know, Azure. I know. Um, I don't know if I still have that picture. Did I post it? Where did I post it? I might be on. Uh, uh, anyway, yeah, well, what happened was, and I've told the story about my uh, car wreck with the Trans Am. But, um, so, yeah, my Trans Am, I posted it on a throwback Thursday one day. Where is it? Uh, do I have it here? Where is my throwback Thursday? Anyway, so I had, an, I had a wreck. It wasn't my fault. Someone ran me off the road. So here's my picture. This is in, like, 1981, I think. Here's me on top of my car. In like, 1981. Yeah, Smokey and the Bandit Trans Am. Anyway, uh, I won't go into the whole accident right now, but yeah. So I went from that to a Vega. <laughs> I know. That's <laughs> sad. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so then um, the, the camouflage design was already on the tree. So I thought, I, I, I'm thinking, do I want to add the, the, I haven't decided yet if I want to add the lime green or just leave it white. <laughs> um, the, the other areas. Because I really like the way I'm shading the gray and the, and the um, I think it's raspberry. Let me see what's it. I put them in, all my pencils that I'm using currently in projects are in this little bag. Um, no, it's not that one. Here it is. It's raspberry, I think. Yeah, raspberry. These are all the pencils that I'm using in the color books that I'm coloring now. <laughs> Uh, you had a lime green 73 charger with white leather. Ooh, that would have been nice, Azure. <laughs> Jean. Jean, you had to pop in right at that moment, right? Uh, yeah, I got run off the road and went under an 18-wheeler. Let's just put it that way. It looked like, after the, after the accident, my uh, Trans Am looked like a VW bug. No joke. Anyway. All right, so... Um, I'm not sure if I want to do the rest of that lime or leave it white. I can't tell. I can't tell if I want to leave it. But anyway, so this is as far as I got on this. Let's keep moving on. Rabbit trails. 
So I'm just going to keep flipping here through this book. And again, it's very, it's very surreal. But I found that most of the landscapes carry over to the next page. They don't always like match something, but they, the, the carries over. Now they're in the center. There's fold outs. So the two pages in the middle fold out, but even the fold outs on the edges, you see like that right there, it goes over. See the little hole right there? See how it goes over to the other side? So then in the middle, you got a double, actually a quadruple spread. So you got all this in the middle. And uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I know, I know, Aaron. <laughs> We're up early here. And so you see how the edges kind of continue on. So the middle two pages have a, a fold out. Okay. And then carrying on. And I did finish one other page in here. Get to it here in a second. So then they have these random, it reminds me of macro photography, like real close ups of things. Um, I love that kind of stuff. And then like just the random little, you know, spot lamina lamp post. <laughs> love this kind of stuff. Uh, <laughs> so these are kind of in the middle there. Oh, thanks, Button. And hi, by the way. And anybody else popping in? I know people have come in since I said good morning earlier. Hey, Prisma. And I think I said hi to Bunny. Anybody else? Yeah, I know Terry Trouble gets up. She's in Oregon. She gets up. Um, yeah, little viruses. <laughs> oh, and then there's a big, uh, like a lunar moth. And then just some random ones in between, you know, all the, uh, all the scenery. And then here's the cactus that I did. So I did this one. And again, um, it, it's in, I did one lime green wash of Neo colors and then everything else is all pencil. Well, I take that back. The white dots are Posca. Um, the white dots are Posca pen. So, yeah, there we go. And I haven't posted any of these yet. I need to put this one's done. I thought about pa painting the background black like I do, but I think I'm just going to leave it white. I'm just going to leave the background plain. So, yeah, there's my cacti. Thanks, Terry. And that's all I've done in the book. And I mean, I, I just, uh, Kenny um, sent me hers on Friday and Laura sent me this one on Saturday. So those two, all that, those three pages that I colored or am, are working on, I did uh, over the weekend here and there. Just, you know, see, look, look at the little camouflage, you know, and then there's a giant baby sleeping. <laughs> Just like random. It's supposed to be, I think, Adam and Eve. You know, in the Garden of Eden. <clears throat> He's trying to... Nah, I, I, that was a fluke, I think, uh, button. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so it's just very quirky. It's very quirky. And very... And it's got a list of things to look for in and around the garden. So they got all kinds of things there. So, yeah. So that's a walk in Eden. And Laura, Laura, um, Art Anxiety Adventures, Anxiety Art Adventures, and then Ken, uh, Kenny sent me this one. So there's my two new color books. And um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this video because I, I want to get on to sorting some pencils and pens. But I wanted to give you all a quick little see through these. So I'll be right back. Thanks for watching. <laughs> 